Well, right. if you've been to the emergency room lately, you probably experienced a pretty long wait. Doctors tell us many of the patients they are treating in the ER do not have life-threatening emergencies, and that is what's contributing to the backlog. Now new healthcare partnerships are being formed to relieve overcrowded emergency room conditions. Local 15's Madupe Idowu has tonight's reality check. So we're the busiest emergency room in Mobile County. On average, Providence Hospital's emergency department treats about 4,200 patients a month. And at the end of the 2013 fiscal year, Providence Hospital provided $3.7 million in services to poorer patients and to the uninsured. As an emergency department, we have an obligation to treat everybody that presents. Um, and if they are in an emergent situation, uh, then we, we treat uh, regardless of ability to pay. Yet some patients are using the 24-7 ER as primary care, which can drive up costs, especially for those who are still without coverage. Nationwide, uh, generally uh, accepted numbers are the urgent care cost is one-seventh of what an emergency department is. So if you have no insurance, the cost is one-seventh. If you have insurance, the cost is one-seventh. For example, for uninsured patients, to treat a cough at the ER costs an average of 681 bucks. That number drops to $93 at an urgent care. For the flu in the ER, it's just $804 at an urgent care. It's only 128 bucks on average. It's not cost effective. There's long waits. The emergency department's geared for the major emergencies. And so sometimes those with the minor emergencies, earache, sore throat, uh, kind of get pushed to the side while the bigger patients got dealt with. To help Providence Hospital ease filled ER weight rooms, Dr. Richard Euler's Compass Urgent Care has partnered with the hospital and opened up a new location just a few feet away. Non-emergency patients will be steered here. So it, the people are already coming here for health care and so adding that urgent care component really filled a void uh, that was we felt was not being met at this specific location. It's open after hours and on weekends. The office can do blood tests, EKGs, checks, x-rays, and other services, just as the ER. According to Project Publica, the average time patients wait to see a doctor at an emergency room in Alabama is 30 minutes. That number doubles at Providence Hospital. The average wait is an hour. With this new partnership, there's hope those wait times will soon come down.